Hello? Okay. So, I didn't think about the fact that I was wearing a green shirt today. I just, you know, I have a green shirt, and I wasn't thinking to myself, Jordan, if you wear a green shirt to work, um, you're not going to show up on the green screen <laughs> for the stream later, so... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be, I'm going to be invisible man today because, uh, you can't really tell it, but, uh, but my, sh my shirt is green. Um, and so I'm part of the, uh, <laughs> I'm part of the humankind today. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, not, not intentionally planned. I apologize uh, that you can't see my shirt, but, um, but yeah, here we are. And uh, I hope everybody's having a fantastic Thursday. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jordan, and I'm the streaming specialist here at Amplitude Studios. And uh, today we got some humankind uh, ready for you all. Um, if you've been paying attention or you were here the last uh, couple weeks, well, I guess not last week because I was gone. Apologies. Hello, if this is the first uh, stream you've seen in a week or so, welcome back. How's everybody doing today? Um, anyways, we've been playing through Humankind. I'm playing on normal speed with the normal difficulty, which is Metropolis. And we're playing with the uh, extended naval combat and vanilla improvement project mod. Um, shout out to both of the modders that have worked on those or the many modders, I think. Um, and uh, and yeah, that's what we'll be uh, hanging out, uh, getting getting uh, as far along as we can we're utilizing the new wonders from the parabellum wonders pack which uh um, is the newest uh dlc that came along with the vauban update um which kind of rebalanced all the wonders gave them slightly different effects and a bunch of other quality of life improvements including the steam workshop which is now in the game there's a lot of things if you haven't read it definitely go uh pop over to the boop there you go in the chat um vauban uh update blog uh, you could read all about that um but yeah that's uh that's what's going on today uh just a quick reminder uh we do have merch we do have merch um that uh, you can that you can pick up um from the merchandise store what's up atlas yeah i uh i forgot that i was wearing a green shirt today all right <laughs> I, I didn't think it would be a problem. In my mind, I'm still not used to using um, a green screen, but uh, but you know, this is where we're at. Um, so yeah, I forget where I put the. I must have put my. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, we have our display store and the the merch store. Um, so both of those are options. If you have a favorite humankind culture, you can grab that on a nice shiny metal poster uh so yeah anyways without further ado let's hop straight into it um the world is black no it's not wow this is really going to be quite funny i i don't i don't know what else to do my shirt and the green screen really aren't the same color but i guess it's green enough to be an issue so <laughs> it is what it is uh, anyways, how are we doing today? Bok how are you how are you doing? Eight count? How's life been treating you? Anaru over there on YouTube. How's the YouTube crew? We should have a we should have a uh a, a f like a fight. Not a fight, but a competition between the YouTube watchers and the Twitch watchers. I'll ask trivia questions about your favorite uh, humankind cultures, and then you can see who's the quickest. You're deep in the Morrowind hole. Morrowind is the game that came out before Skyrim. Uh, what's up, Yoshi Kid? Good morning from California. Hello, hello. Good morning from Paris. I guess good evening since it's uh, 6 p.m. here. How's California treating you? I'm from Oregon. I don't know if you knew that, Yoshi kid, but West Coast is the best coast. Delicious. <laughs> uh, what's delicious, Anaru? Your day? Is that is that uh, how you're describing your day? 
You're even in the kitchen cooking. Nice. What you cooking up in there, Atlas? I almost think the floating head effect is pretty awesome, all. I mean, it's definitely a vibe. I wish I wait, hold up. I got an idea. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I was trying to be my own avatar. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You know, I don't think we have a, a facial hair setting for like more beard. I think we just have the goatee and like a thinner uh, beard one, but oh goodness. A big wok full of vegetables, rice, sweet and sour sauce. Rice and vegetables and sweet and sour sauce. That sounds delicious. Marwind is the game that came before Oblivion, which was before Skyrim, which was before Skyrim Special Edition, which was before Skyrim Alexa Edition, which was before Skyrim Anniversary Edition, which was before the Skyridge, Skyrim Smart Fridge Edition. Mmm, I see. Very uh, interesting progression there. It's like the evolution of video games. What comes after uh, playing games on your smart fridge? What's going to come next? Honestly, I'd like to play games on my watch, you know? I'd like to actually like be able to play games on there. I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know what kind of games would be engaging enough to actually play on your watch, but... But I'd like to do it. I'd like to see how it goes. Oh, the toilet. You know, actually, that sounds like a really good idea because um, I already do play games on my phone while I'm on the toilet. So why not just make the game system integrated into the toilet? In fact, why not make like a projector that comes away from the toilet and shines on the wall like opposite the toilet? Toilet projector. Nobody, nobody clip it. Nobody clip it. We can't have, we can't have Big Toilet know about this. <laughs> can't tell Big Toilet about my great ideas. Uh, okay, we've completely destroyed this rebellion uh, that was happening here in Malone. What's up, Oscar? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> it was Big Toilet all along. Uh, sweet. We've just we've destroyed Ulath, which now means that we can connect it to Akin. Uh, right? Because we Wait, hold up, did we acquire this? Oh, I think we just connected it to Ramon because we were like, oh, our stability's fine. There's nothing to worry about. And then suddenly all of our stability came crashing down. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We're gonna have to figure out how to how to survive this uh, stability crisis because I don't know what's gonna happen. Things are things are going downhill real quick, and we're our, chat. Our work is cut out for us today, and I need you to uh, to be my advisors. I need you to be my inner circle. Who wants to be a part of the inner circle? You get T-shirts and a fun name. Um, that's part of the the uh, the contract. Uh, yeah, we'll do that first. I figure we should probably get some of these infrastructures uh, just so our city can actually make... Oh, stability. Hold the phone. Let's do that next. Can I do that and still finish that? No, apparently not. We'll get the Kaiser Dome first. All good? Glad to hear it, Oscar. I hope you're, hope you're all doing all good. I feel like... Uh, I'm a little sad that this is the last time I'll get to see you all before next week. You know? The weekend's keeping us apart. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. The weekend, it's keeping us apart. Uh, this maker's quarter is gonna... Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna buy out that maker's quarter. 17 industry for that one. That's pretty good. What other things could we do to get more industry? We already have all of the... Oh, we could do the unit industry costs down. 
Oh, but that doesn't actually help us out a lot because it takes seven turns. Hmm. Chad, do you, do you all ever go for this like, oh, get uh, cheaper units? I think if you're currently trying to pump out units, it's not a good idea. But if you're if you're like not in need of units, then I guess it could be good. <laughs> the weekend will tear us apart. Which song are you trying to like sing it to? Because I feel like you're singing it to a song. Hmm. Where do I want to go? I guess we can build out here. Ten industries, all right. I don't know if it's worth it though. It's just crazy that yeah, five turns to get out of Teutonic Knight. I feel like it's better if we just went for it over here in Ramon. Ramon. But uh, we'd really only save two turns per night. So maybe, and I mean, honestly, this 10 industry is not going to save us. Let's get the, let's get a couple of Teutonic Knights. They're, they're just crazy expensive. Love will tear us apart. Oh, I don't recognize it. If I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, why can't I attach this? What's happening here? Um... Also, you know, chat, we need a, we need to rename this. Oh, the music volume is already as high as it goes. Chat, is the music high enough for you all? Because I'm enjoying this. Why can't I connect it? It's a tad quiet. All right. How's that? Is that loud enough? Is it because I burned it too quickly or too recently? I swear there's a way for me to. Oh, it's booping. Heck yeah. That's what we like to hear. I'm all about the boops. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure. Because uh, I want to have Aachen. I want to have Aachen uh, connect. Hold it. There we go. Link. Opens the list of adjacent cities to this outpost could be attached to. Attach it to Melon or Ramon? Oh, I'm such a dum-dum. Chat, don't... <laughs> By Joy Division from the eighties. Okay, I I feel like I've probably heard it, Bach Awful. Chat, don't don't uh, make fun of me for being a dum dum. But uh, this little region right here, it doesn't connect to Aachen. It connects to Ramon over here, but it's missing that connection right there. Rolls up, see the title, modding, modding. Squeaking angrily. <laughs> Modding! <laughs> also, we will make fun. What's up, Kiss Monkey? I don't think we can handle it. I think our stability is in the pooper right now. I was like, but I think we I think we can get up some I think we can get up some uh, stability by getting some Kamon's Kamon's quarters. Kamon's quarters are good because of the influence as well. Is that a little bit of industry? But that's okay. It's acceptable losses in my mind. Actually, what if we put it here? Oh, we can't. Isn't that the embassy? Where the Twitch streamer personas drops go? Am I too late? Um, I think what's probably happened is that they've lapsed uh, since they usually come in like three or four week campaigns uh, and they have to be set up manually. And uh, normally the person that does that um, probably didn't. 
apologies apologies um but uh but i will contact them and ask them ask them to re-up them i i know y'all <laughs> i i know that it's crazy maybe it's not as crazy as i think but um you know the game's been out for over a year and most twitch drop campaigns only last i don't know a month or something like that the, so the fact that we've been continually like renewing manually new twitch drop campaigns throughout the course of like over a year is honestly crazy that we put that much time into it um which i get i get that the avatars are super super cool um so i'm not saying that it's not worth it i'm just i'm just uh I do hope you all are patient with us if it, if it ever does happen to lapse and uh, and we miss it. I'm in the process of trying to learn how to do it myself so that I don't have to rely on anybody else, which is my favorite thing to do in life. <laughs> Figure out how to live without, uh, without relying upon anybody else. <laughs> oh, I can upgrade my Elefantes into Knights. That sounds like fun for 700 gold is a lot of gold these are all just like solo elephants aren't they the army's currently locked oh you can't have two armies like jump in at the same time hmm could upgrade some of our elephantes uh it's fine stability is just a number matte painting is immortal <laughs> well i don't want my people to start rebelling because then i'll have to fight rebels which you know we could always crush the rebellion i know but it seems more streamer drops are added that i missed uh yeah well it depends on when you got them last i suppose uh yeah i keep on making your kaiser dome um we're definitely going to need more stability here in a second, which honestly, maybe we should start getting the Todaji uh, stat. We're also going to need some stability. Do I really not have anywhere else that like these would... Oh, that gives me 13 stability. Oh, but this gives me faith for putting it next to the... Um... Oh, but it'd be close to the Todaji, which faith per adjacent... Uh... Oh, per adjacent forest or rocky forest. Also, I actually don't need to build anything there. How much do I get for these? I get 10 for a uh, garrison. And they're about the same industry price. But I don't get the influence, so... You could always... You could obviously, like take a huge hit in industry but get a huge burst of stability as well if you wanted hmm. interesting we have choices we don't have choices that we could do i think 13 for minus three industry is probably one of the better options i can choose there <laughs> we understand good things come to those who wait thank you of course yoshi kid yoshi kid I, I really do apologize it is something that i um literally had the thought earlier today i was like uh i wonder if the drops are still going because like it's been so long since um since i thought about it uh because i was on vacation uh last week um but i was like i should figure it out you know and then uh, the day got to me, you know? Oh, I did not anticipate having those separate. Okay. And a doomsday bunker made out of shipping containers, half buried underground, enabling drops on his own. The dream. <laughs> I don't wanna be underground, actually. I'd really prefer to be above ground if possible all right we're making teutonic knights let's go what are you all doing in ramon huh how's ramon doing ramon is not a very pretty city i gotta be honest what do y'all think about ramon hold up i'm gonna take away the the yields oh sorry it's because i've selected the city what do y'all think rate rate ramon on a scale from one to ten it's a pretty city or not a pretty city
worrying about anything but industry and science. <laughs> I've got I've got needs, all right. Eight out of ten, pretty good. What's up, Lelovic? How you doing? What's up, thighs? I keep falling into the river on the way in. Out of ten. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean these guys are drifting their little horses down the river. Wow. What do you think? You think they're? You think they're? Um. Yeah, they look like they're having a good time, honestly. It's people that live really far out. I don't know what they're doing, but... Run from my cursor! Flee! Flee for your lives! Alright. And how y'all doing? They're doing good. Alrighty. <clears throat> Enough nonsense! To war! Who's not moving? Oh, y'all are not moving. Are there any more, uh... Nope. All right, let's figure out where some more um, leverage is spawning. There's some leverage. Let's go grab that. Let's get across the ocean. Oh, hold up. We got some leverage spawning here at Lamu. Is that because they're not? Uh... Yeah, it's they're they're oppressing my people. Uh, I don't think we're actually going to get there in two turns, though. What are you all doing? You all oppressing my people too? That's fine. I'll come and get it when it spawns again. <laughs> I love the floating decapitated head. I I didn't realize that when I woke up this morning and chose to wear a green shirt, I didn't realize that it was going to be an issue. <laughs> wasn't wasn't the first thing on my head. One starts to wonder if strategy has been replaced by They've researched aquaplaning out of necessity. It's hype. <laughs> Uh, King Tuan, I totally forgot when I mentioned yesterday that Stephanie would be here, that, uh, Stephanie's still on vacation. She was on vacation yesterday, too. I just forgot. I was just like, yeah. It's so nice to hear from you. Is it? I think they gave up their, uh, demands. Uh. Hmm. Religious, refuse religious tolerance, civics, claim to territory on our border. Oh. Huh. I mean to say acceptable, but also maybe I'll go down and get the grievance. Oh, the, to the uh, leverage token. These two are still there. I wonder if our naval transport ships are good enough to not sink here. I don't know, we might actually sink if we go in our boats. <laughs> That'd be bad. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry to bait and switch you with the with the um uh the possibility of Stephanie being here. Mm, good. I imagine she would have freaked out when seeing you floating in the office today. Yeah. Uh the floating head might have been a little bit jarring for sure. <laughs> uh where should we go with these elephants? It would take forever in a day to get over here. How many turns did that take? Nine turns? I mean, I do want to destroy them eventually, so my might be the, our best option. What are they going to do? Are you going to come in the water and try and stop me from burning your harbor? Don't think so. For those of you that don't know what's going on, we are currently... <clears throat> uh, heading over. We're, we're burning a bunch of... Uh, Yes, Beowulf, King Beowulf still. We're burning a lot of his stuff. We just declared war because uh, we could. And we had a lot of war support. Now we're ticking down, which is, you know, it's okay. But, uh, but we need to get over there so we can get more war support and lower theirs. Actually, I believe I can be uh, placating them a bit. Nice. Uh, I think I'll placate them into the ground as well. Which sounds good. Hmm, <laughs> excellent. Get in the water. Oh, what are those? Oh, wow. <laughs> good one. Potato McWhiskey. That guy's so angry. 
Uh, pay you? No. You thought I would buy this? Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Uh, how you doing? You come to me with a proposition. Let us see what is possible. You know what? Actually, what is this? Not a social fees when accessing this empire's resources. The seller still gains the same amount of money. Oh. Excellent. I was about to say, I have a proposal for you. I'd like to buy all your things, actually. Science per researcher? Per lead? Sure. Uh, porcelain? More money? Tremendous. These things all seem pretty cheap. I like it. I don't know if we have enough money to be doing this, but I'm going to keep on doing it until it stops working. There we go. It kept on working, so I kept on doing it. Hold up. Was there another copper? 400 is too pricey. I also think some of our uh, trade is suspended by uh, the war. Because they're currently at war with uh, King Beowulf as well, which is kind of the reason why I did it, because they were our ally, and I was like, maybe they'll like us better if we go to war with their enemy, so. That's the plan. Everybody, keep on moving. Y'all are heading out. Gonna go over there. Excellent. And how y'all doing, huh? Uh, oh, you finished burning it. Nice. Can we reclaim it for our own? Uh, I honestly can't see. Oh, there it is. You just have to hover over. I mean, they all look pretty good to me. I think we'll probably go with the, uh, yeah. Yeah, that seems good. Hey, what's up, Dr. Kane? Got you live. Yes, I am currently alive. Although it may look like I am only a disembodied head. Uh, I'm, in fact, not a disembodied. Oh, Yo, we got some people landing in our in our territory. We need to go show them show them what's up. Actually, it's just one unit. Maybe we should send our stealth unit to ambush them. Uh, we don't have any movement speed, so we'll have to wait. <laughs> can't can't go. Oh, 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 where are they headed? Honestly, the scout riders are probably gonna be pretty tough to. Uh, catch up with oh actually we have a Teutonic Knight that just popped out uh, these guys said hey hey would you like to uh, feel my religious wrath <laughs> yeah I didn't think so all right that's fine then um, let's send you all down here then I guess I think we'll keep the stealth unit yeah Maybe we'll keep the stealth unit, like, in my territory. And just kind of, like, let them chill out. That seems like a good idea. Oh, we could attach you over here. Can't we? Oh, maybe we can't attach, because this is part of this city. Dang it. I've really, I've really screwed the pooch on my city building. On, like, what I can attach and what I can't attach. This medieval music is quite good. I don't know what you all think about this medieval music, but I think it's pretty, pretty banging. A blossoming of beliefs. Religious feeling is strong across the empire, but that is not preventing discord from emerging from among, among the faithful. Great cities are finding themselves under the sway of diverse religious leaders who each see the standard creed with different eyes. New religious orders are emerging every year. And their influence is growing. What should you do with these groups? New religious orders? Hmm. It's good, but no under invasion good. <laughs> All right, we can dissolve. We are of one faith and should not allow a fracturing in our religion. For increased faith for four t uh, 10 turns. Wow, 25% faith. Actually, that's quite good. Um... Influence them. Each citizen must find their own way to the divine. We should be tolerant of religious interpretation. 20 faith on territories. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Or lead. As the world leaders of the faith, it is our duty to strengthen it and keep it pure. For uh, tradition, I think. Yeah. Tradition, world. 
or authority. Hmm. How are we doing on fame, huh? We're keeping pretty far ahead. I honestly think it might be fun to get the... Uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that. None of that. Oh, did we... We successfully ransacked their haven? Or what happened? Take no prisoners! Um... Yeah, let me... Actually, I was trying to... I'm not trying to do that. Come on now. Uh, I'm trying to see our faith. Yeah, can I start converting these people over here? I think we can start converting them. We do have some, like, linked together uh, territories. Huh. Would there be a reason why my faith wouldn't be spreading across this boundary, even though it's connected? Zero faith produced in that territory. We have no hold. Why is that? Mmm, because there's no faith production in the adjacent territory, I guess. So even though I have faith being produced here, which is, you know, converting these people, I have no adjacent um, faith being produced. Like this tile has no faith produced. Okay. So building this here is actually a terrible idea. Faith and culture do not spread to whoever you're at war with. Oh. I actually didn't know that. Okay. Hmm. Refusing my civics, are you? Hmm. Bad idea. Uh. I would definitely like them to get out of the ocean. Are they gonna die? It'd be really sad if they died. Did my... I think my embassy dude might have died. My uh, diplomat then. He silently died in the middle of the ocean on accident. Um, You're gonna die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys I think are gonna die. I don't think there's much I can do about it. I didn't realize. That's sad. Three elephants just drowning in the ocean. Um, do you want to convert you to Teutonic Knights, though? Uh, yep. I don't have a better melee unit, which is kind of sad. But, you know, it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it doesn't make sense to produce more faith currently, since I don't think it'll matter. I guess four cities, I don't know, could be useful. I think we're also converting uh, people right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, our faith has spread even further. <laughs> the missionaries are doing a great job. Blue again? Blue dabba dee dabba die? I'm purple, not blue. Your company brings me great cheer, as always. Yes. Reverence. That is what I that's what I like to hear. Blue dabba dee dabba die. Darkens my day. Oh, dang. They're suspicious of us. You know. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna lead. I'm just gonna grab a little extra faith. Why not? Yep, yeah, my elephants died. I need better naval transports. <laughs> I just silently lost a couple units. <laughs> <gasps> he surrendered? 
What's up, Calmark? How you doing? Leonardo, what are you doing? You can't surrender. Never give up, never surrender. That's the rule. Them's the rules. Yeah, you just need to stop oppressing so many faithful people. All right. Violence demands retribution. Uh, I need you to split and be your own little dudo for a second. Because uh, these horses need to run. These horses need to be free. Okay, I think we burned down their harbor. Excellent. We need to find some more of their uh, stuff to either burn or to attack. Why are you just ahead? <laughs> Why are any of us just ahead? I'd like to say that I'm getting ahead in life. The song is a banger. <laughs> How are you doing, Calmark? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We have a new tenant for our religion. Since we've reached 113 followers, we can get develop the intellect, which gives us three science on holy sites, three influence on holy sites. Not bad. Uh, Shoe gluttony. Spend not your wealth on decadent feasts, but on the armies who keep you safe. Plus one land movement speed, naval movement speed, and maximum number of holy sites, and minus 10% uh, on unit industry cost. That's kind of huge, actually. <laughs> I'm the head of social media. <laughs> I'm the head streamer. <laughs> Uh, oh wow plus 20 industry on holy sites that's really good purge idleness indolence only begets indolence a true believer rests not knowing their only uh their holy work is never done uh whoa whoa, whoa. these jokes will get out of hand unless you head them off now <laughs> am i a bit loud I can be a little less loud. Do, does this sound better? Uh, people were messing with the audio earlier today, so I don't know. They might have done something. I think uh, I think everything else is pretty good. Is that a little bit better, though? I turned myself down a little bit. I want you all to be able to hear me, but I don't want to blast off your eardrums. I'm louder than the game could go lower. Well, I do want to be louder than the game. That is something I do want. Oh, it's peaking. Okay. Y'all gotta tell me that. Y'all gotta tell me this stuff. You know? If, I, if I'm if i peaking. I want to be, you know, ahead of the game, but I don't want to peak too early. I like the direction this conversation is heading towards. <laughs> uh, Alright, what do we else got here? Show not mercy. War support? When opponent refuses your demands... War support when an opponent breaks a treaty. Influence. 5% influence to religious leader for each war declared on them. Oh. So if somebody declares war on me, I am a relig religious leader because our religion is taking over. Uh, plus two money per number of trade routes. That could be pretty dang good. D are the are the bonuses for these different than in the vanilla version? I feel like they're different. How are you doing, by the way, Navar Navarro Bursk? Or proselytize daily. Yes and no. Okay, so there's some that are different. Plus two influence on commons quarter. Plus five stability on commons quarter. Ooh, that could be real good. We have a stability problem. A really bad stability problem. But the, I'm kind of leaning between gluttony and proselytize. Proselytize goes with uh, with our, um, you know, 
religion vibe. The money on trade routes and the plus speed are vanilla. Right, okay. But the minus 10% unit cost? Is that vanilla too? I don't remember that. Not like I know everything, but... I feel like I would have remembered that, but... I don't know. I don't know. That's all vanilla. Well, sheesh. Uh, we cannot connect that to Ramon. Ramon cannot handle uh, more <laughs> stability losses. <laughs> Can't handle it. Can't handle it, boss. All right, chat. What should we do? I need I need uh, people sounding off in the chat. What sh which one of these should we grab? Industry, money, science. Movement speed or stability. Hmm. Tis tis a hard thing to, to know. See what you all didn't know is that I'm actually just wearing a rainbow shirt, so it's blue when it's blue, it's uh gray when it's gray, you know? It just changes color. We need more money, you think? Could do. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I think we do have a lot of trade routes. I'm curious. Uh, let's see how much money we're currently getting per turn. 470 per turn. Uh, just talking out my ass. Well, you're the reason why we're choosing this one. Because you're the first one to say something. <laughs> Uh, so it says 476. Uh, is it not going to update until next turn, maybe? Lieutenant for Christianity. Maybe it won't change until next turn. Let's hang out there. You're good. You're good. You chill. Hmm. 480. 420. Theology researched. We got the plus one city cap though, nice. Now I got a, I got a decent amount of trade going on, yep. I think I got a, quite a few trading partners, including my ally. Um. I mean, I guess not a ton. <laughs> I'm confused why my money per turn went down when I should be getting plus two money per number of trade routes on city or outpost. Seems, seems uh, inconsistent. Hmm. Industry per workers, industry on makers quarter per adjacent farmers quarter. Let's grab that one, actually. What you building units? They cost upkeep. Uh, yeah, I built an envoy this last turn. I don't think that that should be really, you know, make or breaking it, really. I don't think I made any other units, though. No units here. No units here. Yeah, we really need this uh, stability to come in clutch. I'm obviously moving people around now, which is, you know, affecting things. Hmm. I don't know. Into the ship. Oh, uh, run, run, run. Oh, hold up. We got we got uh, people that want to party over there and people that want to party over here. Uh, I think we attack these people. Either way, they get stuck with only one unit, so that's kind of a bummer. I do want to attack them, though. Oh, they retreated. Okay. I'll take the, uh, the free war support. Um, hmm. 
I actually think what we need to do is actually split these boats is what I should have done. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, da, 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 da. Ba, ba, the only way to know is to hover over the money income. Uh, let's see. Money from city, money from spurred by faith, culture trait, money from alliance, money from army upkeep, money from patronage. It would just include the money from city though, right? Honestly, I never realized that the money included three decimal places worth of money. So we're not getting any from the tenant. Is that what is that what that's saying then? Mandate patronage money per number of trade routes on the city. Okay, no, it should it should be just included in the money from city. Well, I guess we didn't see what it was before. We just saw the total. Should have looked. Oh well. Yo, chill, 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 chill. Da na 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 no. Um, I'd like to move you to here, and then I want to attack you. Yep, keep on retreating, I dare you. Okay. Uh, we really should probably head back up on the land. I don't know, can we defeat these people? 13, what do we compare? Yeah, we're at 13 as well, so we're pretty vulnerable in the ocean. Can I not get in there? I thought we could get back on land, but no. Okay. I don't know. We'll just sit over here. So we can get in and out of the water easy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, new civic. Scientific facts. Are we flat earthers or are we not? On research quarter, faith and stability, 1% science on holy site. Uh, I'll pass. I don't know if we want that. Mm, oh, right. We could have gotten stability on all cities, money per overpopulation. But we, I don't know if we're overpopulated, actually. Uh, 26 over, over 36. Are we technically overpopulated? Does overpopulation only count when you're over the uh, cap? Population limit is what I mean. Money from tenant is in the city. Yeah. That's kind of what I figured. Mm, we're still making the Todaji. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how are we going to do this? We have no movement. You can keep on moving, I suppose. Maybe we should like move them down here in the forest so that they can sneak up on land quicker. Hey, what's up, Arcalis? How you doing? Mm -hmm. Let's move them up a little bit. Ah, my envoy. Uh, is that really gonna take longer? Dang. Okay, that's kind of weird. Let's go. Overpop is every pop over the limit. Pops who aren't working in any slot. Uh, well, we definitely don't have that problem. Craftsmanship research, nice. What should we get next? One unit slot per army. Quadramarine. Hmm. Maybe we should get alchemy so we can use the saltpeter. Or we could do Trade insurance money cost on the base price when buying a resource through trade money from resources sold to other civilizations. That's pretty cool too. Um, minus ten percent on all resource money cost when buying a resource through trade. Hmm. Let's get siege tactics so that we can get an extra s slot. Uh, okay. Uh, 
we got a bunch of their units over here, but they're not at war with them anymore, which is interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to move you back. I really just can't move at all. I think this water is too... Oh, it's foggy. Interesting. All right. I'm not sure what their plan is here, but we're just going to keep on kind of attacking them. Uh, Manuel's battle. Our side is weaker overall? Excuse me. No, we're not. And I'll prove it to you. Oops. Pew pew! <laughs> I want you all to keep on looking for where they went. Ah! Attack me. That's right. Keep on running while you still have legs. Did they get more units in here? <laughs> They're too overconfident. Ow. 14. How many reinforcements did they have? What the heck? Where's... Oh my gosh, they had eight units? From where? My goodness. Sl this is just a slaughter. I should play more humankind. Can we spend research points on creating 25 hour days? Zephyr, I wish we could. How are you doing today? <laughs> Welcome in. Adding more hours to the day is the only way that I can imagine. Uh, ow. Are they going to kill my ship? They better not. Oh, it's the end of the turn. Uh, I think we're good to move everybody in the water again. Uh, yep. And then y'all can move in here too. Excellent. Are y'all fully stealthed? Nice. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh sweet we made the uh cross we've got a lot of crosses we got two crosses right next to each other <laughs> the crosses from the east and the crosses from the west <laughs> only the people from the kaiser dome come over to th this cross and uh people from the other kaiser dome come to this cross what do you do from midnight to uh, 6 a.m.? Thank you very much for the follow, by the way, Zephyr, and officially welcome into the Amplitude Studios community. Uh, sleep. Midnight to 6 a.m. I sleep. That's usually what's happening. Uh, but, you know, not always. It's not always sleep. Um, hey, industry. We gotta get, we gotta start just getting more industry in these cities. We got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff we need. Ooh, also, stability. Ayo. That's what we need, too. The city's doing well. Making them mean more knights. For industry, it's just... It's just not it. It's just not it. We need more... Uh, anchors quarters, I guess. Or we need... Oh, can we get another monumental cross? That'd be pretty sick. Oh, look, we can get another treaty. Give me your 32 science. Sure. I like it. Uh, let's be real, though. If the day was longer, they would be pushing to enforce more working hours. <laughs> Maybe. You might be right. Be like, well, you have so many hours in the day. Might as well just keep on working. Wow, 16 war support from that battle. That was a bad idea, my dude. I lost uh, 11, 11 hit points. Uh, as the last gasps of combat fade on the battlefield, it is clear that the Empire's forces have claimed a decisive victory. The enemy is in retreat, leaving all its captured soldiers behind and in the hands of your triumphant army. Wounded, subdued, or belligerent, these fighters wear the colors of your opponent. What is to be done to these prisoners of war? 
integrate them, no matter where they come from, more labor or helps power the empire. They will work for us. We have no use for these defeated scoundrels, yet they may not be worthless. Let their families buy them freedom, ransom them, or execute them. The battle is over, but our enemy will never relent. We will not take the unnecessary risk of letting them live. Ferocious on two targets for 10 turns. I don't get to choose who these two targets are that get uh, ferocious, do I? Although that for one combat strength, that seems a little bad. 2,000 money seems pretty good. I am fine selling them back to their families. <laughs> Chat, what do you think? Sell them back to their families? Crush the rebellion. Uh, what's up, Lorgar? Board thing is gone. Cain came in his name to praise the great game. Interesting. All right. No longer the board thing. Long live Kane. Cool. <laughs> Sells like four turns of money. Uh, yeah. And? Population is like one turn of food. Although that is two population in one turn. It's population on prime though, which is the capital which i mean i guess they could handle it i'm not sure if it'd really help selling people you're such an evil man <laughs> i'm not i'm not selling them to people that don't love them i'm selling them back to their families for a price long live me thanks exactly we are the borg and they will be assimilated Somebody's a Star Trek fan. All right, we're about to get this Todaji up in here. One industry per state religion follower. That's going to be like 100 uh, influence here. That's going to be quite nice. Um, that should be researched next. Uh, oh, this is the next. Uh, no, that's the gun platform, which is the one that's a boarding vessel. This is the boarding vessel. Targeted units also take damage when they move. Oh, no, sorry. Boarding vessel like they board other people. Mm, naval transport. That's this one. It receives less damage from consecutive turns spent in deep water. That might be kind of nice to get, actually. If I'm being honest. What's this one again? Oh, the Hamlet. Hamlet might be kind of good, actually. Gives us more slots. Then okay. <laughs> it's providing a service to their families. It's give them back for free, but you know, shipping costs. Exactly. We're out in the ocean. Got to get them there somehow. And inflation. Yeah, exactly. I'm out here offering the best price for their freedom. AKA the only price. AKA we could just kill them, but we're not gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna ransom them. Uh, okay, where did the... Where did they go, huh? Oh, they're over here. Can I take out four units by myself? I think I can. We might take some uh, some losses, but I think it's okay. Oh, let's hop up on the land. Can't do that. Just kidding. Ah, we have another Teutonic Knight. Excellente. Mm, what should we do here? Should we help with the anchor watt? Oh gosh, 37 turn, 19 turn. Ho, ho. It's too much. It's too much. What do we have you all do? Hmm? You can't make any food. Wait, hold up. You're making 17 food out of what? From exploitations. These are three food tiles? Yo, hold up, chat. How am I getting three food? Dry grass, okay. I mean, I'll go for it. Why not? Let's get a uh, one of them. How much? Uh, yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of sketchy. Oh, how much would we get at our? Oh yeah, eighteen food though. 
I like that. I distinctly like that. And then maybe we can get another maker's quarter. They just lost the... Uh, uh, would you like to subscribe to your captured family member in order to secure their well-being? We have a discounted premium subscription at the moment that will even let them keep their hands. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, you want them to be handy when the when they get there? Well, we have a we have a special a special package. A special hand included package. Um why can't they... Hold up. I need you all to... There we go. There we go. That's what we like to see. All right. Get me over to the next turn. We got to destroy them. What are they... Oh, hold up. I think we can... Idiotic decisions by idiots. Stop me if you heard this one before. Your opponent walks into an ambush battle. Excusez-moi? Por qué? Pero por qué? Oh, it's my, it's my ally accidentally walked into my ambushed stuff. They can't, they can't run away from this because I'm ambushing them. <laughs> why, why did they walk onto me? Why did they have to do it? That's awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my guys are like hiding out in this like forest over here. And some people walk past and they're like ready to stab anybody that walks past and they're like ha! And they're like, oh shoot you guys uh, You guys Leonardo da Vinci's boys ah shoot they're Leonardo da Vinci's boys Ah, but we're we got our swords out already. So like might as well just you know might as well just kill them um, No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine was the largest wood structure in the world. You guys are gonna be upset that we that we tried to attack you. Yeah, well. You know? It's what happens. It's what happens when you uh, have spies hiding out in the wilderness, apparently. Uh, can I grab that, please? I would like more leverages, please. Because currently I have only one deploy. I need an additional, like, 58 uh, leverage. Yeah, they they've been spending a lot of time out in that forest. Uh, they got itchy everything <laughs> Trigger finger itchy Other things itchy Chat, what what uh, wonder should we get next? Pyramid of the Sun, Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Great Zimbabwe Mosque of Djinn, or Notre Dame. We got a lot of wonders already, but I definitely like more wonders. Okay, y'all, what are y'all doing over here? Also, isn't there like a treaty where like you can see empires can see each other's stealth units? Yeah, if we do that. Listen very carefully. I have a proposal. Oh. I have a proposal. Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would tarnish my glory. I'm not asking. I'm telling you. My people won't be pleased let me see your <laughs> let me see your your stealth units bro come on that way that way you don't have to run into my stealth units what was wrong with you bro i literally just almost killed you but i didn't and now you're gonna be like ah well you see oh Hold the phone. Who do they think they are? Yo, they think they're just gonna come over here and burn my harbor? You can't just burn my harbor. Um. That's interesting that they think that they can just do that. Kind of, kind of gutsy fellows, aren't they? 
Zion Church is delightful. All right, let's grab it. Uh. Faith per number of enacted civics, st faith, stability, faith per adjacent district, influence on religious district. You should have plenty of religious districts around with the Kaiser domes. We have tons of religious districts, yeah. And that'll help us get more wonders. Uh, yep, yeah, you can come over here. We'll have to go there first. Um, Y'all are chilling. Y'all come down here. How are you still out of movement? Is this still the same turn? I don't know what's happening here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then we need y'all to actually... Um, oh, hold up. We got more juicy people to fight. Yeah, run. Run! Well, you're about to, you're about to get. So stupid, so ridiculous, so inevitable. Yeah, yeah, you're about to, you're about to be uh, surrendering. I kind of want to kill more of your units before they surrender, though, because you have a decent amount of units hanging out here, and well, I got. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Keep running. You warning your war support. Yeah, head out into the open seas. Why is he getting ongoing? From having more ongoing demands? Um... Friend, you will surrender those lands. You will. Yeah, at least he's not getting any more war support, though. I will see you gro- who, who, Who's, uh, placating me? Hold up. I don't know who is placating me. Oh, hold up. You're going to die. Don't do that. Wait, is this out in the deep water? Gosh, dang it. Yo, they're baiting me. <laughs> they're baiting me into the deep waters. With the ocean. <laughs> There's no way to get this uh, leverage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leo doesn't want to reveal the position of his spies. Pretty sus, yeah. Honestly, Arcalus, that is pretty sus. We should probably kill him next. If we're being honest. Uh. Oh gosh. Our people are so upset. Uh. Where do we put the Church of Our Lady? 88 Faith. Oh my gosh. Um. We could put it down here next to the uh, Todaji. What do we want? Uh, adjacent districts? That's pretty funny. What's up, Axel? How are you doing? How does it go? Uh, how's our faith spreading? It's kind of good. It's kind of doing good. And if we put it over here, it's not going to spread to them because we're fighting them. So it's spreading out over here, over here, over here. So I honestly think... I think it's fine if we put it in Prime, right? We could put it in Malone. And it would continue to permeate. Converting to Christianity. Converting. Conversion, conversion, conversion. Chat, where should we put it? Should we put the, uh, the Church of Our Lady of Mary of Zion in Malone or Prime? You made sushi today. Oh, wow. Homemade sushi? That's pretty crazy. Uh, cannot be done due to the stability. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a comments quarter. Um, actually, let's get a couple of comments quarters. Um, actually, you know what? I'm actually going to build, uh, garrisons. Because these are a flat 10. I get it. I get it. But, you know, it'd be better to do that. Your people see it. As a place of safety and a symbol of power. Only your friends know of the extensive wine cellar. The extensive wine cellar. Uh, yeah, we can't build anything, so I suppose we shall get one of these. Honestly, I don't know why we're not getting these already. Uh, 
Uh, stability on garrisons would be good as well. More food, good as well. 14 science, good as well. There's plenty of things to do without building more districts. We're fine. Oh, somebody's attacking us. Oh, sheesh. Uh, who they got? What they got? They got noble javelinier and a swordsman. Uh, and we just have a swordsman. Hold up. Can we get some people up in here? Up in here. Up in here. If they can survive a turn, we could get them up in there. Everybody else is kind of like. Yeah, too far away. It's kind of a bummer. But if we if we end the war with them, we don't actually have to fight at all. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just retreat. I know I kind of want to wait. OK, let me think about this for a second. If we force them to surrender. My war score is like 279. Uh, so. And I have eight. <laughs> I think this is the highest my war score has ever been. <laughs> uh, uh, I just, I've never seen it that high before. How did it get that high? Hey, Rob, how you doing? I botched the filling and rice ratios, but I'm learning. I mean, that's the best. Spicy tuna, cucumber, carrot combo. Dang, that sounds delicious. If I wasn't going out for ramen later tonight, I would be tray jealous. Yeah, we, we definitely list stomped them, Zephyr. Zephyr, are you French? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling the French vibes because you said le stomp. Le triangle. Um, shwee, shwee, shwee. Yeah, I think that's a, that sounds like a pretty good idea. What do you think, chat? Because <laughs> oh, you like my shirt, Rob? You think it's a really nice shirt? I think it's a really nice shirt too. I think it really goes with my hair. You know, it's a uh, it's a really good good compliment. I think it's in the Amplitude store. It's called the uh, I still look naked, but <laughs> I'm actually not. Um, okay, they refuse my demands. Uh, I don't want to to go to war. And what are you gonna do, huh? You gonna how much money do you want? You want 1500? Over what? What did I did I did I take something next to them? What did I do to you, bro? Honestly, we're about to beat the other people, so maybe we go to war with Potato McWhiskey now. What do you think, chat? Do we think we just go to war? Do we just uh become warlike? Uh let's go with manual battle, yeah. Let's hide in the forest. Um, actually, it's better if we cut them off so they can't surround us. Fight me. Next to the green screen mustache, yeah, exactly. Mm. The roll on that. Yo, I took five damage and dealt 50 something. Sheesh. I want to get up in this battle. Actually, how far can we move? We could literally like hop into the battle from right here. <gasps> well, we can get him in the, oh, hold up. Oh, I did not realize that we could do that. As long as they're in the battle, we can just Flank and spank. Chat, this is what we call the flank and spank. Okay? Y'all have never seen this before, but this is... Hold on, what the heck? Oh, oh, sh oh, no, no, no. We're saving their life. You're not dying today, my dude. Did you see the synchronization? Did you see the synchronization as their orders both combined and they went That's the power of Christianity <laughs> Oh gosh <laughs> Oh gosh 
Gosh, gosh, gosh. Two sets. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the funny thing is, is I, I consider myself a Christian too. So it's too soon. It's too soon even for me. Um, you know, I'm fine with you coming. Oh, it's an envoy. Hmm. All right. We'll actually chill out here. Let me chill out there. We're good. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll end the warp. Uh, oh, wait, we can't give it. We can't tell them to give us any of their cities. Hold up. Original reparation is no longer possible. To hear the sign to add the term to your surrender proposal it cannot be done as all the winning sides original demands must be added as surrender terms before any additional surrender terms can be considered part of the truce. They're offering surrender first. Okay. Selected terms. Plus reparation used war score. Oh, they're offering surrender. Okay. What? So if I hit refuse, then I can force them to surrender. Those terms are unacceptable. You thought I, would buy this? I will force you to surrender. Yeah, there we go. So they have to do everything that I am asking for, right? But then I can also be like, Okay. Okay, because now that they're adjacent, right? It's, it's all coming together. So I can have them give me all their stuff, essentially, but not all their stuff, apparently. Oh, that's way too, that's way too expensive. Okay, where... Where are these places? Sabra, Satala, Alamaz, and Lich. And these are on their main. Okay. Way too much. All right. And then where's uh, Biblos? Biblios? Biblios? Uh, Flaganet? Frita? And Danon. Like Annette, Frita, and Dannon. What do you what do y'all got over here, huh? What kind of goodies do you have? I don't know what kind of goodies they have. Y'all got Saul Peter over here and whatever the heck this is. This land. Got some Saul Peter down here too. Hmm. Sidon or Tikal? Honestly, let's go with Sidon. Uh do 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 do. Oh, I have to grab one of them. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's too much. All right. I like it. You are lucky to know me. Though we are in the right, I must stop the killing. Sure, 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 sure. You came over here trying to take my lands? My lands that I wanted? That's unacceptable, my dude. Interesting. The land that we got. All right. Uh, let's make this a city. Boop. 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 Nice. Give me them era stars. Oh, look at all this. Look at all this grievances. Nice. All right. We need to decommission some of these bad boys. Uh, or should we start sending them over to Potato McWhiskey's land? While everyone else is green with envy. <laughs> Spliced in half, yeah. <laughs> Maga Doberg. We need to rename that stat. 
Um, I think what we need to do is disband these units. Hold up. We need to get them into our territory so that we can disband them properly. You can disband. I like the fact that my Teutonic Knights are chilling. I like having a standing army. It's good times. Uh, yeah, you all can get upgraded. Yep, 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 yep. Turn into Quadramarine. Ooh, they looking good. Maga Doberg to homemade sushi. I like it. I like it. Let's get it. Home. <laughs> Is the keyboard French chat? What's going on? Home. Me. No, it's in French. Hold up. Um. <laughs> Was it me? Why is it the keyboard in French, y'all? Goodness gracious. It says English. Oh gosh. I have to look at the French keyboard. French is contagious, I guess. Homemade. This just means I have to look down. Yeah, you're right. We need to make it le homemade sushi. Good point. Good point. <laughs> Homme made sans sushi. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Oh, we can get a Kaiser dome though. Oh, that's very nice. We can Kaiser Kaiser it up. Uh, emblematic quarter for the win. I do, I do like the emblems of our emblematic quarter, and then we can put the church. Sma oh, look, ooh, look at that! Boom, boom. Let's get these Kaiser domes out first. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, we're good. Ha ha ha! Yes. Oh la la. The Kaiser Domes. Um, can we get a... Hold up, I want to grab all this... Um, all this stuff first. Because if we have an envoy out, look at all this leverage that we can pick up. Fundamental values. Ah, yes. Is the Empire's first concern citizen security or happiness? I think it's productivity, actually. Uh, influence, stability... Emblematic district. Ooh. Commons quarter, industry cost, or garrison industry cost. Are we leaning into the commons quarter strategy or the garrison strategy? I think. Hold up, which one was this one? Stability on garrison. Okay, so let's do garrison then. I think that that makes more sense. I mean, we don't even have to enact the civic, technically. Um, Which one was it? Oh, I don't have enough influence to enact it anyway, so it's all good. It's all good. Uh, I have to proceed to war. Do we not tolerate skirmishes? Oh, we have a non-aggression pact. We go around in circles. What is this? They have a quadrimarine too. Yo, is Potato McWhiskey actually like a threat here? Oh, what are y'all? Uh, trespassing, trespassing, trespass. Oh yeah, we need to keep all these uh, available because I want to collect them all. Um, cool, 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 cool. Everybody's chilling. Everybody's chilling. Everybody's chilling. Y'all, actually, come over here. I needed you to keep tabs on old Potato. I need them not coming in here. And I need you to? What's your upkeep? Upkeep is only one. Honestly, it's nice to have a couple of units just chilling out with a really low upkeep. We'll have you, uh... What in the world? Oh, one of you just had movement and one of you didn't? I'm confused. It depends if you built Petra. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure. 
Mm, oh, his his war with uh, who's his face? Jumbo actually went poorly because I think Jumbo. Oh, Jumbo's at war with the Spiffing Brit now. What the heck, Spiffing Brit? Who who are you? Welcome. Let us speak honestly with each other. Condescending. Uh, you're at war with them. You stopping my trade route for porcelain is kind of annoying. Why is that? Oh, you got a bunch of stuff. I actually want your stuff. <laughs> silk? I love silk. Oh, that's expensive silk. That's okay. We've got a lot of money. Porcelain? Yeah, give me some of that porcelain. And some of your pearls, too. Why, you got expensive stuff, my dude? Ah, that's cheap. Uh, you wanna... Hold up. How's it going over there? Now I can basically see the whole map. And we're kind of converting you. So... It's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Prime is making these... My stability is going back up to full. Let's go. Is that because we're no longer at war, I think, with the, uh, with King, King Boomy. What's his name? King Beowulf. Uh, uh, he's affectionately going to be called King Boomy now. I dub him King Boomy of the Southern Isles. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we're going to have you all come over here. We need you all to start joining in the battles. Uh, and then I'd like... Where do I want this envoy to go? I need to be careful about where I put him. I have a feeling like you're going to start generating some grievances over here. So let's keep you there. But now we get the opportunity of going all out to get all this leverage. Look at that leverage. Give me that leverage. Oh, there's two more leverages over there. Give me that. Oh. You had a movement, bro? Okay. <laughs> the Epic of King Boomy. Exactly. Oh, now we have to make decisions about slaves. <clears throat> How do we get slaves? Criminals? One bonus population per ransack, two industry per overpopulation. I don't think we decide this yet. I think we just hang out. But you know what we should do? We should help out with somebody else's uh, project so we can get a bunch of influence again. <laughs> uh, whose project do we want to help with? The Colosseum for Leonardo DiCaprio? Or something for Spiffen Brits? His anchor Watt, maybe? Nine turns? Honestly, not terrible. What about the, uh, the old Col Colosseum? Five turns is much quicker. Let's go with that. Uh, and over here in Malone, we could help too. Eh, four turns. That only takes away one turn. Mm, your stability is not as good as it could be. Let's get a little bit more stability. It's another commons quarter. Or you can start the Zion Church and let the AI build it for you. Uh, none of them have helped me yet, actually. I don't know if that's... I don't know why, but... Your presence darkens my day. You still want my money, don't you? I'm kind of okay with you being mad at me, because, I, I mean, like, if you declare war, that'll be uh, just all right. Oh, a civic osmosis. Who's civicizing me? Oh, it's because, um... We took over their city and most of the inhabitants are their people all three of them um yeah show me what we got here they want me to have slightly less science yeah that's fine uh sure Do you have monumental contractor treaties? Uh, with the one ally that I do? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Um, we have monument. We have most things. Oh, what's your demand? Oh, these are my demands. Am I picking up these demands? I don't know where these demands at. Where are the demands at? I don't know. Could I get over here and grab these things? 
How many turns would that take, huh? Cannot be done with an envoy unit of your army. Oh, weird. I think we need to move our units because Potato McWhiskey is going to be our next challenger who approaches. So let's move these bad boys over here. You all are moving up there, which is great. And then you... Yep, keep on going over there. You're going over there. Yep, everybody just move. Yes, yes, that's why I can build the Colosseum and Anchor Watt. Yeah. We, we grabbed him. Uh, which, you know... So I guess since we're using Prime to build the Colosseum, we could use you to build the Anchor Watt. Could be good. Uh, and you all can just hang out there. Okay. I think we're doing well. Chat, scale from one to 10, how well am I doing? <laughs> we're on turn 128, so we're getting closer and closer to halfway. Uh, Potato McRishki is reducing my war support. <laughs> I tread just about as safely as I can. Why can I? Why is? Hmm. Let's scoot over here. Pretty a okay. What's up, Changlini? Changlang? Someone is destroying a e wardy. What? What? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Somebody's got a flippin' death wish. Y'all, they, they just, they just wanna perish. They just wanna die. I didn't realize they, uh, were so ready to just get murderized. Um, the fact that they think that they can come over here and just burn- Good eye, by the way, Dr. King. I mean, you're in first place, so it ain't too bad. Yeah, we're- our lead is slowly but steadily gaining. Which is good. Uh, do I have any other units in here that I can do things with? I suppose I have you two. Um, which I mean, it's I. Y'all are- y'all are kind of cute. You can do stuff. Um, I'll move you up as well. I should honestly just leave this unit. <gasps> That's genius! You put a stealth unit on your outpost so that they come and try and burn your outpost, but then they run into your stealth unit and uh, get attacked. <gasps> He's genius. That's what I gotta do. Religious woes. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like this has been the like religion playthrough. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty good. That's a genius. Am, am I the only one that's the start of this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like you saying that's genius coming from you is like either really high praise or kind of like uh, sarcastic, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Big if true. I I don't know. Maybe it, maybe this isn't something people have tested extensively. I don't know. I'm just I can't read through the text how you said that. So. The religious woes is from VIP. It's considered as a religious osmosis event. Okay. Having a state religion has brought great things to your empire. Well, debatable. It's brought a lot of war. But currently, there is an important religious minority growing. Your priests try to combat the religious disunion. Uh, but practitioners of other faiths are sometimes the victims of prejudice and discrimination. Your empire's fractured faith led to a major riot in Le Chomet Sushi. The angry mob is searching for the streets, searching the streets for heathens, false converts, and whoever crosses their furious way. How will you respond to this religious discrimination? Uh, I might have just pressed the Windows key and everything disappeared. Okay, it's back. Heathens or not, these are your citizens and they must be protected. Or, ignore, the lives of heathens are of no concern to ours. Of ours. 
Ooh. Am I authoritarian? And I'm like, or am I traditional? I feel like this is more like geopolitical. I like, I feel like this is more of like a, uh, a world versus homeland or maybe, I don't know. Do I really feel like this is going towards uh, authority? I am telling them to not kill my people, which is I guess control. Hmm, I think we gotta, we gotta protect our citizens, but we lose 50 stability at Lahome Sushi. But it'll go back up after after a time, right? This is the best science osmosis I've ever seen. <laughs> archery. Pay 180 gold for archery or <laughs> get a thousand science. Sheesh. I wish I had my soundboard that I have on my stream deck. I would be playing the sheesh sound. No, what a tyrant telling your people not to kill each other. I know. I think we'll go with a, a tidy thousand science. Uh, yeah, that's like two free turns of science right there. Hey, <laughs> um, what do we want to get? I think we're, I think we need to get the saltpeters. I don't know. We don't really have guns yet. Um, and I don't know if we'll really need gun units, if I'm being honest. We can get halberdiers. Uh, does any of this require saltpeter? Oh, that requires saltpeter. Okay, well, let's research how to get it, because that seems like a good idea. Interesting. They're both trying to lower my war support. Hmm. Salt Peter. <laughs> exactly. Peter's real salty. Why why do they feel like they need to be coming at me like this? I don't know why they're coming at me so hard. I don't know why Peter's so salty. All right, let's contain them. We can take this the stability hit. Uh, minus stability from defiant status. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Uh, hey, I'm gonna just leave. Is that cool? Is that cool if I leave? Um. Okay, yeah, we want you to keep on going. Everybody else can move. Who's my idle army? It's you. Okay. I'm just going to stand in your city, I guess. Uh, all right. Just chill out there, I suppose. Ooh, a builder star. Oh, we're so close to going to the next era. We got all of our expansionist stars, which is it's a thumbs up. We didn't get all the militarist stars for this one, which is kind of a kind of a bummer. But I think moving ahead at this point, since I am in first already, might be the best idea. I feel like if you're in first place in fame, moving on to the next era is usually a pretty good idea. I don't know, but maybe you have different thoughts. By the way, religious woes will keep on happening as long as you have territories under someone else's religion. Either convert them to your religion or have it stop to have it stop or have something to deal with unbelievers to fix it. Have something to deal with unbelievers. What do you mean have something to deal with them? The great city of Prime is bursting at the seams. Countless souls pressed within the city's tight borders and the dense squalid quarters uh, cases of madness are on the rise. Madness? Uh, religious leaders contend that demonic forces are behind the afflictions. While the philosophers argue for natural causes, both are strong voices in the empire with competing solutions. What is your response? Hmm. Chant, we can study. We can study the uh, people. The knowledge of medicines should aid the afflicted. Plus three science per researcher. We could uh, pray for them, seek answers from higher powers, 
uh, and seeking cures. 25% faith on five cities. Now that's a lot of faith. Or we could judge them. They are sinners and only reap what they sow. The empire should seize their wealth. My heavens. Uh, we're slowly heading towards tradition. The only thing that's enlightening is if we study the mad people. There are things in the game that can change how your empire deals with unbelievers. I'm sure you can find them on your own if you look for it. Very cryptic, but I like it. Um, I think this is how I shall deal with the unbelievers. And we shall pray for them. Um, we're going to pray for the mad people as well. Uh, oh, you just really like oppressing my people, don't you? Uh... You got some some leverages for me over here? I can never get that leverage. Why would you put that there? I need better naval transport. <gasps> did we get the better naval transport? We did. I think we di did. I think we did. I can't remember. But I think we got the better naval transport, so we might actually be kind of in the business. Um, I think my one Teutonic Knight can handle them. <clears throat> can handle them, excuse me. Uh, and then these people can join the battle later on. Uh, 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 uh. Can you make it all the way over here? Oh, oh, you can make it. All right. Oh, <laughs> yo, that was some MLG RTS Clickamanjaro blast. Did you see that? I basically forced them to retreat down towards my other armies by like going to the side of them and then attacking. Yo, I need to get into some like esports arenas uh, with <laughs> with the uh, humankind. Can we get some esports, some humankind esports, please? I love the, I love the Teutonic Knights. They're so good. Flank them and spank them, baby. <laughs> Wait, did they get to sh attack twice? Didn't we attack them already once? Or did it, the attack not go off? Oh, nice, nice. You, you noble javelin. Oh. Why are they bringing the envoy into this? Pew pew! <laughs> I chucked, I chucked rocks at them. Hold up, this guy is a veteran, so uh, let's let's have them take the kill. How many kills you got? F five kills? Sheesh! This guy has a bloody p past, a bloody history. And we got a military star. And we can move on to the next era. Oh, baby. Okay, so now for the secret plan. Come and stand on that. Yeah. And then you all can make your way back over here. Yeah, we'll do, we'll handle that later. So we could, um, the envoy has a death wish. Yeah, I, I killed him. <laughs> uh, remind me later. Uh, da, 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 da. Where do the units go that I was tracking? I don't know where they went. Interesting. All civics backlashes must be handled first. Um, civics osmosis. What? So let me see what's happening here. Thirty-two percent hold territory is currently part of the King Beowulf's sphere of influence. These people are slowly embracing my culture. Um, and we're only producing 32, which is not enough. We could build a monumental cross here, though. Which I, you know, I kind of like. Let's build the the religious center in the, the heart of the town. Um... Uh, Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion. You all, uh, keep on heading, keep on heading. Uh, okay. 
Uh, Aachen is not doing anything, so let's help. Uh, actually, let's help with that, and then we'll help with that. Uh, do esports accept disembodied heads? Uh, I mean, they're really interested in your brain, so yeah, I think so. He's coming from the side with the Holy Crusade. That's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pans out for them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess... Minus 10 upkeep on units actually seems kind of like a good option. Oh no, it's the minus 50% cost of signing treaties with independent peoples. And I, oh yeah, whatever happened to the independent people down here, huh? They're just hanging out. One influence of your ideological position on their doctrine access per turn. Uh, or we could get money. Or we could get mercenaries and tradable resources owned by this independent people. What resources do you have? You have artisan quarters. Hmm. I think we'll just get money. And we'll feed you back that money forcibly. Uh, I did accept the 50% cost thing, I think. Yeah, I did. Was I, was I not supposed to? Uh, I can't remember what it was. 50% cost of sending treaties with the independent people. Yeah, I did. That's why I, that's why I then did that with the independent people because I forgot about them. I was like, oh yeah, I had independent people. And then I signed the treaty. You know, I'm a gamer. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a straight up gamer. Um, I'm going to actually disband you all for another population and then I'm going to bring you all so I can't come over here and get that. No, I can. Okay. Four turns or four turns. Well, I guess we give that one first. I know there's two down there. Let's go for that. Okay. We're making the Church of Our Lady Zion, and then that. I should get our stability up. We're getting lots of population. Why are our harbors cracked out of their mind? Twenty-six and five. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Imagine, uh, oh, sorry. I, let me let me catch up with chat, excuse me. By the way, this is something the VIP mod, for all of you wondering what mods we're playing, VIP mod, as well as uh, ENC, uh, tries to encourage to have your holy sites in your town. For example, Kaiser Domes gain industry for being adjacent to holy sites. Imagine if the Church of Our Lady of Zion was known internationally as Our Lady. Would be a bit silly. What do you mean, Arcalis? All right, let's go. All right, how how are we doing, huh? Agrarian star. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, chat, I forgot that we uh, claimed this for our own, apparently. Uh, I don't remember having this um, outpost down here, but apparently we claimed it. <laughs> By the way, which civics are still up for grabs? Anything to boost you in that front? Uh, that's a great question. Um, we have slaves. It's overpopulation. Uh, overpopulation. 50% um, on garrison industry cost and or commons quarter industry cost. Um, Inquisition or banished population and science on holy sites or research quarters. So technically we have a lot of holy sites. This could boost our science quite significantly. Every single Kaiser Dome is considered a holy site. Is that what we're saying? Because I've got a lot of Kaiser Domes. Uh, they're very cute and I like them, but uh, hold up. Stop that. Counts as religious district. No, it doesn't count as a holy site. It counts as a religious district. Nope, every Kaiser Dome is a religious district, not a holy site. So my holy sites are like my monumental crosses. 
Uh, nope. Apparently, they're not holy sites either. I see nothing that says holy sites. But you say it's holy sites. Some wonders, such as the Tadaji. Yeah. The Kaiser Dome really is one of the most beautiful looking uh, emblematic quarters, in my opinion. Yes, chill over there in stealth mode. Dare someone else to come and try and battle us. Look at all this leverage. I can't get all the leverage. Oh, a minor technological breakthrough. Nice. Oh, those two leverages disappeared. Okay, well. Um, then let's go over here and grab this leverage. Holy sites. Uh, oh, I already read that. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, a boat. Wait, hold up. Are we even boatage? Ooh, we're even boats. I want to attack their, like, people, not their boats. <laughs> uh, and then you just sit there. You sit there forever. You're impressing my people. You're like... Oh, did you downgrade our shared logistics? I think they just downgraded our... I think I think we might be going to war. So to hear um, I might actually try and renounce these. I need to generate a bit more leverage. Just so that once he does declare war on me, I can just finish him. Finish him! Excuse me? I was like trying to get them together. Uh, <laughs> oh, we could whack their envoy. What's up, my dudes? What's up, Ozone? Welcome in, welcome in. Ah, oh gosh, nearly missed the stream. Hey, boy and friends. Yeah, we got eight special minutes just for you. Um,. Uh, so welcome in. Th thank you so much for being here. To everybody who is here, thank you for being here. It's good to have you. Uh, our game is going super well. We're, we're like 131 turns into a 300 turn game. Uh, and, um, and, uh, you know, things are going well. Uh, we've kind of expanded a little bit, um, which is quite good. We won a war against, uh... What are we calling him? We're calling him, uh... What did we call him? King... Something that started with a B, but I can't remember what it was. I don't remember. We gave him a nickname, but I forgot that nickname already. But anyways, we beat him, and then he was trying to get all uppity and start, like, burning my outpost. King Boomy, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Calamark. Uh... Bommy and Bimmy! What are we... <laughs> what are these? The, uh, the brothers of, um... Durin in the Hobbit, <laughs> Biffer Boffer and Bomber, Boomy, Boomy like from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Come on, y'all. Y'all have seen Avatar: The Last Airbender? Goodness. Uh, excuse me. They want to do what now? Did we? Oh, we just. Oh, what political system does the small cancel support? Aristocracy or republic? Combat strength on emblematic units. So are my Teutonic Knights still emblematic units even after I move on from this era? Does that still count? Because that'd be interesting. Social, uh, tradition or progress. Regardless of the era, nice. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, The Last Airbender was a fun movie. Leave. Leave, Arcalis. You can't be here after a comment like that. <laughs> Okay, very cool. So we could do that. And the strength of our militia could actually be kind of nice if we get attacked um, in one of our cities. I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, if I'm being honest. Yo, the anchor watch going to take 21 turns. That might not be worth it, y'all. Might not be worth it. 
Nine industry, ten industry, five food, influence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe we'll help him with the anchor watt later. And you, you're making the city watch, which is good. Uh, everything's kind of going according to plan. Making a bunch of harbors eventually, uh, which will probably tank our uh, stability again. I think I'm ready to move on to the next era. I've made all the Kaiser domes. I think I'm ready to go. Uh, do we have any um, stars that we're about to get though? Uh, we'd have to kill 10 more units. I think we're good. I think we're ready to move on. Right, let's do it. We could almost get a money one, but it would take us a fair few turns. Well, maybe not. It'd take us like three turns. Right? Because we're making 500 per turn. So it'd take us yeah, three turns. I don't think we wait three turns. I think we choose now. Get the pick of the litter, you know? Jordan, I just found a base game bug I would like to report. Can you open DiCaprio's treaty screen and hover over the exclamation mark so I can screenshot the bug? Of course I can. I'm a bug squashing fiend. Hover over the exclamation mark so I can screenshot the bug. Uh, exclamation mark. Oh, because I'm... No, I am an expansionist. You can always trespass with King Jordan, the Teutons. You got it. I am King Jordan of the Teutons, though. I'm not sure what the what an exclamation mark should be there when you're not allied, not when you're allied. Oh, because we're allies. You can always trespass. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Good eye, Brian. All right, chat. I think our last decision that we'll get to make on the stream is who shall we play for the early modern era? Uh, medieval no more. We shall become early modern. It makes no sense talking about trespassing in a cultural exchange. Yeah, I get I get what you mean. Yeah. Aren't Paramount making new Avatar TV shows? I think so, and I don't know if they're going to be good. I'll be honest, boy in France. Mm, if you look at the non-allied treaties, this exact same spot. It's the Open Borders Treaty. Right. Welcome. Let us speak honestly. With oh yeah, it's the wrong tooltip for when you're in an al when you're allied. It should it's a different one. It's the cultural exchange one. Not right. No, that's that's uh that's that's very very perceptive. Good ca good catch. I I a hundred percent now fully can conceptualize the thing that you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, previously i was kind of like uh-huh yeah yeah because because we're an ally so we shouldn't be expanding like but no i totally get what you mean now it's a completely different uh um ability when you're when you're that okay all right let's choose our new culture we could be the inca uh expansionists with the on a condor's wings, 50 road movement speed, uh, three food on districts per adjacent mountain. We do have a good bit of mountains, so that'd be kind of fun. Uh, and it would allow us to move really quickly, but we have a lot of ocean on this map, so maybe not. Yep, we're deciding the early modern culture and then I'm heading out for the night. Gotta go get some ramen. Uh, we get the terrace farm, allows construction of new districts on adjacent tiles, very cool. And we get the Inca guards. Uh, the Maasai. Minus 25% population consumption on all cities, which would help our population a lot, which would help our faith in a way, uh, which would help our industry with the Todaji, which would be kind of cool. I like the idea of going for agrarian. Uh, allows construction of new districts on adjacent tiles. Uh, the Enkang. Uh, plus five food per adjacent exploitation. Uh, it's kind of cool can put that anywhere right yeah the swiss uh one of the diplomatic cultures from the together we rule expansion uh 100 army upkeep on non-allied units in your territories oh it makes it 
more expensive for other people to have armies in my lands. That could be good. 100% leverage from units in demilitarized territories. Honestly, it could be cool to make some DMZs. The last construction of new districts, the Watchmakers Guild. Okay. Worker slots per adjacent makers' quarters. Plus one money per era. That seems like a strange perk. Plus one money per era. Oh, I guess maybe not because it's per emblematic quarter, so we can make a ton of these. I guess it makes sense. And we get the Reis, Reislaufe. Reislaufe. I'm trying to do Stephanie justice here. The Reislaufe. Um, cool, 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 cool. We could beat the Dutch. Chat, if you have a preference, by the way, you can you can shout it out in the chat. I'm listening. Plus two money per population on all cities. The Dutch are the money bags. Population. Ooh. If we get more population, we get more money. Merchant culture. Mm, the VOC warehouse. Um, five money, money per adjacent harbor. Oh, harbor. Interesting. By the way, I have bought a, an art of coloring Disney 100 book. Fun. You'll have to share some of the things you draw. I don't want to shout it out because I want to hear your thoughts. Okay. Um, we do have a decent amount of harbors and money per traders and everything would be kind of cool. We already have a lot of trade going on, which would honestly be nice, but nothing really synergizes with the trade um, other than putting people in the trade slots. So I don't know. I'm not necessarily into that. Having a nice naval transport would be very good. Increase movement speed at the start of battle. And when starting his turn in allied territory. Hmm, that's kind of fun. The Hodna Sony, one food on exploitation, and one city cap. Honestly, we're kind of expanding a lot, so having an extra city cap might be kind of kind of low-key good. Uh, the Rotus can racket. A stealthed gunner. Three sisters plantation, four food per number of cities. Food per adjacent farmer's quarter. Food per number of cities. Honestly, that's kind of good too, because we do have a fair few cities. That'd be like a flat, you know, if we have five cities, a flat 20 food. That's pretty strong. I really like the idea of going agrarian this era. Either the Haudenosaunee or uh, the, ba -ba 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 -ba, the Maasai, I think, are pretty nice. But let's keep on going. The Joseon. Oh, right. What was their emblematic? No, the gunner. Right. Okay. The Joseon. 3D science on tile producing science. Honestly, kind of weak, if you ask me. But if you had a lot of science tiles, it could be pretty strong, I suppose. Uh, the Sion influence science, science for adjacent research quarter. I, I mean, we don't have enough research quarters to really make this worth it. We haven't gone science... Um, and another boat, honestly, a super cool looking boat. I would do it just to look at the cool boat, but maybe not. Ming. Civics. Okay. We don't have very many civics, civics left to go. Grand Tea House. Tea Houses are nice for the influence. Uh, they count as a commons quarter. Ah, I'm not feeling it. Moogles. Uh, two industry per number of territories in your sphere of influence on capital. Uh, that's just on capital, though, and we already have a ton of industry on our capital. I guess it is a percentage, though, so it, it would just affect it percentage-wise. The Jama Masjid is crazy. Industry per adjacent maker's quarter is huge. Um, and they count as maker's quarters. Another elephant with gun. <laughs> the Ottomans. I don't know how much we're going to expand, really, so I'm not sure if I want to do this. An expansionist culture, heavy weapon industry costs, the Sultan Kami, faith per districts on territory, influence, and Janissaries. The Poles. Well, there are so many different uh, cultures in the early modern. Is the early modern the uh, era with the most cultures? Kaiserdoms count as makers too. That's, that's a good point. The Mughals could be really strong. That's medieval. Oh, interesting. Okay, Medieval has the most. I would think I would, it would be something else. Oh, Snuff King, what's up? Um, I'm late to the chat, but you should make use of uh, all that water around you. Yeah, I definitely want to, for sure. We'll see if anything synergizes really well. Um, even if it's not much, having a quarter gives money 
makes it synergize with traits that boost money generating districts. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's see, the polls. District fortification, stability on district. Honestly, that could help some of our stability woes, but I think we're kind of okay. Things might get a little uh, iffy when we get into another war with Potato McWhiskey, which is probably going to happen. Barbican gives us influence, stability, fortification, and we get the winged hussars, which are arguably amazing. Uh, or the Spanish. Uh, plus three combat strength on unsupplied units. What does unsupplied mean? Uh, the Cathedral Gotica. The Gothic Cathedral. Very cool looking emblematic order. Um, but I think we're already pumping out faith like none other. So I think we're probably good on that. And the Conquistadores are also very good with the um, money from winning battles. Very cool. Uh, Edo Japanese. Unsupplied equals outside friendly territory. Okay. Supplied units. Hmm. Unsupplied units. So when they're away from us, they get more combat strength. That's interesting. I like that, actually. That could be quite strong if we really want to take Potato McWhiskey's land. Uh, influence per population on a city or outpost. And the Terra... Uh, which gives us influence, faith. I feel like there's a lot of faith-producing emblematic districts in the early modern as well. And we would get the Naginata Samurai. Basically, your units are stronger on the offense, not defending your lands. All right, chat. I'm feeling... Oh, and with the Venetians. We all know the Venetians. They make monies, uh, and they get another harbor. Uh, chat, put in chat what you're feeling. I feel like... I might go with the Maasai or the Haudenosaunee, but if you have a strong suggestion um, between one of the two, or if you're just like, no, screw the agrarian, let's do something else, then let us know. Oh, Nora, nice. Just won a game on nation difficulty. How's your day going? Very good. I'm about to finish. We're actually ending a little bit late, but I wanted to choose our culture so that we could be prepared for next week. Basically, your units are stronger on the offense. And not defending your lands. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Haudenosaunee, Haudenosaunee, Haudenosaunee. If you want food, it's Maasai, Had or Inca, if you have enough mountains. We do have a bit of the mountains. We got some mountains over here, mountains here, mountains there, mountains here, uh, a couple of mountains here, and no mountains down here. So it's kind of split. Haudenosaunee, Haudenosaunee. I think there's more Haudenosaunee. Uh, votes. And I'm totally okay with that. I think the Haudenosaunee do seem maybe a little bit stronger uh, just because of the fact that we have a lot of cities and we can get another city. Um, the Three Sisters plantations are going to just stack. Food per adjacent farmer's quarter. We don't have a ton of farmer's quarters, so that's a little bit sad. But um, yeah, we already have, especially with the um, VIP mod, a lot of reductions in our consumption uh, because of the infrastructures that we've made in our cities. So I feel like I feel like the hot and sunny is a good choice. Let's go. Hot and sunny. I'm clearly outvoted. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Got to go with the masses on this one. Must be a common feeling in France. <laughs> I like Miss Simon going for mega cities, but Hot Nesuni will help Jordan since he keeps conquering new cities. Yeah, we we don't want to go into the uh, over over city spread. It's a time of discovery and exploration, but discovery you can see my shirt now. A stable, successful, ecologically pragmatic culture. There is something to be said for matriarchy. The Haudenosaunee were a matriarchy? Hmm, interesting. All right, chat. What a beautiful wall around all my cities. You've unlocked the Congress of Humankind. Look at that wall. That's, that's pretty. All right, you know what time it is. It's time to slowly scroll across the land. All right, thank you all very much for coming and hanging out in the stream today. Canada's not hot and sunny. Okay, interesting. 
But anyways, thank you all very much for coming to the stream today. I will catch you all next week on Tuesday, since this is our last stream of the week. But I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And uh, and as always, uh, take care. Don't, uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I beg you, Mr. Streamer. I'm only 1.2k dust from VIP. Every raid dust... I will, I will search for somebody to raid. Hold up. Uh, I need to pop out of here, though. We will see. I will I will do my darndest to find us somebody to raid. Oh, my heavens, Google Chrome, chill. Google Chrome's, like, forcing me to be like, did you know about these new features? Yeah, chill, bro. <laughs> it ain't that deep. Enjoy my ramen. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed the, um, the, uh, <laughs> the disembodied head stream. Looks like we do have somebody playing uh, humankind. We got uh, Thomas Pledge. Looks like he's uh, a real person. So uh, I like supporting real people. Um, where is the curses French keyboard? Hmm. Why couldn't it be easy? <laughs> there we go. All right, let's raid him. Chat, please go and raid this person. Go give him some support. Looks like they're currently playing as the Greeks in the classical era. Let's show him some love. And uh, and thank you all very much for, for being here today. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Take care. And, um, and uh, like I said, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Anyways, have a good one. Where are the curses? <laughs> yeah, I, French keyboard is rough, y'all. Uh, anyways, have a good night, and we'll see you later.